1969 American Motors AMX Pro Street by Johan. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Welcome back model car builders and here I am once again standing in front of the good old old glory American flag to bring you another American Motors model car kit and tonight we are looking at the American Motors AMX Pro Street by Johan. What's interesting about this kit is originally it started out as the Shirley Shahan Drag Racing AMX, the Dragon Lady. And actually, Shirley Shahan was an AMC employee who ended up being one of the first female drag racers. In fact, the first female drag racers. So this kit kind of came after that, but it's the same model inside. And we can look at the, the uh, model kit history right now by checking out some of the older boxes, and then we'll get right into this review. And now we wind the clock all the way back to 1969, where we look at American Motors AMX. This of course is the 1990s Pro Street Edition by Johan. And as you saw on those box tops before, the original one was the Shirley Shahan's 1969 AMX Super Stalker. Came out in 1971. In 1974, there was a stock version of the 69 AMX in the USA Oldies series. And then in 1992, this edition came out. So keep in mind that the original Shirley Shahan's 1969 AMX Super Stalker was uh, made in 71 and then got redesigned in 1992. So that's over 20 years. And then in 1998, the final one was the Testers AMX Pro Street HSO. Came in that funny little cardboard box thing. Anyway, taking a look at this, uh, you can see that this is really the Shirley Shahan's car just repainted with brand new for the 90s decals on here this stripe and the little thing going into the hood scoop now I do have a confession to make before we open this up I was actually trying to convert this into a stock AMX with some custom wheels so if some of the parts are gone I'll get into that <laughs> tell you what they were okay things are gonna slide Okay, whoa, <laughs> all right, so anyway, you can see, oh, there's a tra uh, the year, 1992, right there. So there's the back of our AMX, and as you can see, it is pretty nice, you know, even how they redressed it as a pro street. Let's go uh, zoom in on these pictures here. There we go. Now look at this engine. This is an AMX engine. Um, I do believe it's a 390 sitting in there, but it has the dual carbs and cross ram intake in there, just like on the Chryslers. In fact, they kind of paint this Chrysler engine orange. And then underneath, you've got these noodle exhaust pipes that are coming out of there. And then you've got the black vinyl tires on chrome to mag wheels. Those are basically the American style, or Kragers, actually. Okay, this side of the box is basically the front. All right, and then on the back, <laughs> once everything stops falling in there, let me just move this over a little bit and zoom in, eh? Take off, eh? Okay, welcome to Canada. We have our AMX detail kit and features, dual carb cross ram intake manifold. Uh, four tube headers, big V8 engine, custom mag wheels, optional side windows, detailed chassis and interior, molded in high impact styrene with chrome clear and red clear parts. Decal sheet with contemporary striping design. And then it goes into the 125th scale, seven and three quarters inch long. You need your cement and glue and all that jazz. Okay, the regular affair. Oh. There's that end of the box. Now this is interesting. I, th this is from a VCR. Remember those? Uh, on a VHS cassette. I used to put these stickers on there to tell me what uh, level of, you know, 
putting a model kit together I was at. So this is a level one. All right, let's just... Okay. <laughs> no more falling. All right, so the level one. All right, um, this has a flip type box, just like the Ravel kits. Okay, so stay. Here's our instruction sheet, which we're going to take a look at in a little while. But I just want to make a little shout out to a store. Bought at Wilkinson's Automobilia. Now this is in um, Vancouver on July 20th, 1993. Vancouver, British Columbia. $11.45. <laughs> I bet this kid is worth a lot more now. Anyway, there's our instructions. Wilkinson's Automobile is a cool store if it's still around. It had all kinds of uh, automotive repair books and model kits and everything in there. Basically everything auto, even little 43rd scale die casts. All right, there's our body. Now this was white plastic, of course, but I wanted a tan interior. Painted with testers, I do believe. I mean, you're not going to get a painted grill, it's all just straight up chrome, but it does look nice what I did anyway. To me, a clear orange, or uh, that color, amber. <laughs> there's our hood. Now it's got the holes in it, that's for that cross ram intake. And then there's the hood scoop over here, but I can't find where it is, because of course I was trying to make this stock. Uh, our glass. There's our white chassis. Then, see I glued this on a, a plastic styrene rod so you could hold it and paint it. It's your dashboard. Engine block, which I've glued together. And then you got your gas. Your radiator wall and support. Or ra yeah, radiator and wall and support. There's engine components. Don't know why the cross ram intake is on this. That's okay. Firewall. Got the wheel backs for the deep dish mag wheels. Then the regular wheel backs for the fronts. Again, with that Johan mega axle in there, which those are missing as well. There's the uh, fan and battery. Then we got cylinder heads in here. Um, hoses. Steering wheel. Long stick on that steering wheel. We've got. These are cool wheels. We'll get into them at the end here. Or tires, I mean, not wheels. <laughs> Tail light. Extra side windows that they put in here, which is kind of nice. There's seat belts going on in here. There's a coil. Just got to make sure not to lose that. It's just coated in flash. Much like the SC Rambler um, for that little coil. I got a distributor and I was trying to drill out the points on it so I could put wires in there. Of course, more tires. And is that it? Oh, there's a seatbelt down there. So I'm going to clear this box out of the way and then we can actually take a look at those awesome instructions. Today's instruction sheets are brought to you by the letters A, M, X, and the numbers 1002. No, anyway. <laughs> Just joking there. Uh, here's our instruction sheets for our Johan Pro Street AMX. And this was one of the Divisions of Seville Enterprises model kits. So this is Johan in the last days of Johan before they got bought by OK Spalding. And some of the molds got sent off to testers just prior to the OK Spalding um, takeover, I guess. So anyway, I zoomed in on that. But let's just go back. Okay, so these are folded over nice like an envelope, and then they open up into one big sheet. Oh, our decals. <laughs> I forgot to show them in the parts overview. These are double-sided, but of course, um, single sheet, right? So it's always nice, these type of instructions. Uh, I know the other model kits have bigger fold-out things, but I like this simple because, well, everything's there. So let's just take a look at this. We'll uh, go panels, panel by panel. Okay, so like I said before, I've taken a bunch of these parts out of here and swapped them over with something else to try to make this as stock as I could because 
This car came out as one and only drag machine for Shirley Shehan. And uh, I made a couple little notes here again, just like I did on the SC Rambler. So you have a two-piece engine, and what's unique about this is it's got a concave curve in here for the intake manifold, which also is curved. And this one is showing your uh, sort of like the Max Wedge style with the dual carburetors offset, the big air ducts, which were chrome. You get a separate coil, you get the water pump hose bends over the top here into our front engine cover. The water pump goes on the into there. You get all your hoses and everything. There's your fan belts, your alternator, your starter motor, your fan. And in here I put the firing order and your cylinder heads, like how they would go, you know, for your firing order to get the wires correct when I uh, modified this, of course. Your cylinder heads going on there, valve covers, oil pan, all the works for your engine. And interesting they painted it orange because a real AMC block is a metallic blue. So just so you guys know. And here we have our next panel, which of course is the chassis. And it's very simplistic. It's just basically a one big pan under here. Unlike the SC Rambler, it does not have the opening trunk. It's just flat across. And then you drop your big motor right in there. And these axles, the reason why the holes are so big on the Johan kits is they're using a solid plastic axle. And for a plastic axle, if you have a thin one and you put your car on the table, the wheels will bend upward. So they used a really thick plastic axle instead of the metal rods like with AMT. You get these gigantic slicks in here with these rear wheels with the deep dish in there. And then of course your Krager mags popping in the holes. And then these are skinnier tires. And there's a really cool trick about the tires that we'll see when we look at the plastic parts coming up soon. Panel three shows these crazy headers going together. So there are three pieces, a left, a right, and then an end. And then that makes up one of these. And that goes in just like it shows here, right up against the engine and hooks up underneath the cylinder heads and then just ends abruptly right here. These, of course, are the Shirley Shahan um, exhaust headers. So then that one would go on the other side. Here we have step four, which is the interior assembly. And again, very straightforward. You have an interior tub with the front seats and everything molded in. Of course, the AMX was a shortened up javelin so it doesn't have the bench seat in the back uh, the your shifter goes in here it's a three-piece so you have this t-handle and then this little stick right sticking out here your steering wheel dashboard and then a firewall going in behind which this u-shaped thing goes into here and then you've got your little brake master cylinder that pops on the end panel five here is the final assembly for the entire car yeah, your hood goes into your body, a little hood scoop glues down over those two holes. Then you have a front grill with a bumper going there. Radiator wall, which goes into these little slots in the front. Side windows, the full window here, which of course designed back in 71, so you got your full glass going across. Then your rear view mirror will pop up, glue inside. Your completed interior pops in, and it does have little locks in the back that go into little holes in there, like it shows here. So that all hooks together nice. Bumper also goes into some of those holes. Um, interior dropping onto the completed chassis, then the gas tank glues up into a little square down below here, or on the other side of that. Then your rear bumper pops in, and your taillights pop in up top here. So again, very straightforward. And just so you know that this is, in fact, Shirley's car, just with the reprinted instructions, it says the recommended colors, body, gloss white, red and blue, interior chassis, flat black, and basic engine is red. So that is how Shirley Shehan's drag-on lady car was. And that completes our look at the instructions for our 1969 AMX Pro Street. Welcome back model car fans and of course here we have our little AMX and this is a cute little car of course back in the day these were shortened down javelins by a couple of inches 
in here. And these little cars could actually outrace Corvettes. They were crazy. And that's in stock form. And as we tilt this up, you can see, of course, it's got the perfect profile for an AMX. Even has a Kelvinator style refrigerator type door latches on here, which is really cool. You got your rocker panels down here, little turn signal lights, the 390 V8 emblem, and of course your AMX oval right there, which is really cool. Are really good. You turn it over. Now, I don't know if there was uh, some mold marks under here because I do believe I scraped them all off with my number 16 hobby blade because it's looking really clean under there. There's those little, if I just get that, there's that little groove, double lines where you're going to put your radiator right in here. You should go across the front. Oops, there we go. Your, fire, your radiator support is going across the front. I got little holes for you to be able to click the front bumper in, the headlights. Overall, really good. They got that grill right there with your windshield wipers. And that basically is your AMX. What about at the back end? They got the door lock right there. And all this bracing in here just to support the body. And then, of course, you plug in your rear bumper with your taillights. And you've got a license plate divot right there as well. So again, a very cool little AMX. So now we have the AMX hood sitting over here. I thought that might look cool as a dissolve. <laughs> okay, as you can see, it's got those holes. Now, if you're trying to build this thing stock... Of course, the old stock version is missing in action. So you have to find a way to fill these holes. So we'll get into that maybe later. But if you turn this over, of course, you can see the nice bracing that's under here. And there are some old marks. Aha! I didn't get to scrape these guys out, so they will have to go. But overall, the hood is quite nice. And if we take a little AMX back down here... Again, it has a little side squeeze fit, and there you go. You can see just how nicely this hood fits in. There's like no gaps along there. So a nice tight finish by Johan. <laughs> Got that off kilter. Next up we have our basic interior tub. I just thought I'd throw that in instead of the chassis this time around. And then I've got my dashboard here on that stick for painting and my steering wheel here. So this, of course, is molded in white originally. But I do believe I painted this with good old Tester's tan. And this was the tan that came in the little square bottles, as you guys might remember. You can still see the nice seat detail. It does have some texture to it. Amazing how they got these seats in here and were able to actually get the door panels molded in, considering this is all one big unit. <laughs> so if you don't like these seats, you're kind of stuck with them. Unless you uh, figure out a way to saw them out of there. Of course, there's no back seat in here. That's true to the AMX. It was all power. And they do have the correct pedals molded in here. So you got your brakes... And your, actually, that's your clutch, your brake, and your gas pedal. So again, very nicely done, even though it's simplistic. And there's those little tabs that hook into the body off the back. And these, I do believe, are for the window. So again, pretty nice. Just take this over here for a minute. You can see the dashboard right there. Nice gauges in there, sunken in properly, just like the real AMX, with, of course, these little pullouts little glove box way down there. I do believe this was padded, but it's hard to know for sure. Anyway, I mean, look at that detail. That's really good stuff. <clears throat> okay, and then finally we have our steering wheel here, which is a correct AMX style with the spokes. I'm going to have to paint those silver and paint the horn as well, horn button. But very long shaft on here. This will, of course, fit nicely into our dashboard hole, just like that. With a little bit of wire, you could drill a hole in here and put your turn signals into it. Lots of room for detail on such simplistic kits. It's amazing what people can do, 
Especially if that person is me. <laughs> Not to boast. Anyway, whatever. Wow, look at how long that sticks out. There we go. Nice long column. And that is basically our interior with a bit of a semi-build. And finally we have our AMC chassis pan looking from the top. There's a couple of mold sink marks in here, a little bit one of the raised type back here, but not too bad. Again, your files and hobby blades. The real adventure is on this side. These of course are the long holes going in, there we go, going in there for your axles. There's one back here as well. And then as we flip it over, you can see everything is molded right in place. So you can try to paint pick this out by, you know, spraying the whole thing like flat black or something. And then painting over all this with gloss black just to bring it out. I, I do believe AMCs were painted as... Yeah, they're all painted as one big piece because this is a unibody. So all this would be, you know, welded underneath and the whole thing. Might even be some gray primer puffed around in here. You're going to have to do your research for underneath. But again, nice, crisp, and simple. And it's got these little locks in the back again to go in through that rear bumper setup. But basically, very nice, very quick. So next up, I've got all the white plastic components right here. The remainder of them, except for our wheel backs, which we'll get into in a little bit. Uh, basically, it's going to be a little bit different because your engine is separated and all this would be on parts trees But this is what I have left of this conversion So I got my engine block with the transmission the gas gas tank <laughs> The radiator wall with the radiator mounted in as a one piece your oil pan your intake manifold Now this is a single carburetor one, so I don't know what happened to the dual one um, this is part of a heater motor thing. It goes on the dashboard. Anyway, the front cover, your water pump, your pulleys, your cylinder heads. Now on one side it's got these two holes. That's for the valve cover to pop in. There's all your spark plugs. And on the other side, I've turned this one upside down, it's got the top of the cylinder heads, which is really cool. You got your fan and your battery, firewall, the distributor that I drilled started to drill the little holes in for wiring. That is the coil. Then I've got the radiator hoses here. Oh, there's a different distributor. So this is one from somewhere else. Different model kit. Um, that is your brakes there. Show on that little hole. <laughs> These are regular brakes. They're not the power, power brakes. But anyway, uh, let's see. There's some nice detail on this, even though it's simplistic. Let's see if the camera can catch it. Uh, let's move this. It's white plastic. I apologize. White plastic on bright lights. So you're not going to see too much. So I'll just make the sound. There is a texture to your radiator. The radiator hoses on this don't have holes. They actually have big blocks. So don't think that this has to come off. That's actually where the radiator is going to, or the hose is going to glue on. But as you can see, it's quite basic, but it's what you need. And then getting into like the gas tank, there's a bit of flash on there, but it does have, there you go, the nice textured ribs. And yeah, basically all the little parts have good detail, a couple of sink marks, and of course a lot of flash, but that was Johan under Seville. The molds were getting really tired. Like I said, 1971 to 1992, that's 20 years or so of plastic being shot through these. So overall, they end up nice. Oh, of course, there's, oh yeah, there's the hole for that axle to go through. And look, my wooden rod pointer can go through here and it's in there sloppy. So that's a huge hole. <laughs> Okay, anyway, transmission is molded in. It's got some nice detail on those little plates and covers and stuff in there. Uh, pretty decent to the AMX shape. Or, sorry, the 390 cubic inch AMC motor. And then, how do I know it's correct to the AMC motor? Well, Wilkinson's Automobilia, I actually picked up a repair manual for my AMC Gremlin. 1977 and of course it does show 
the AMC motors, 360s, all that kind of thing. So that's how I know. Now we get into my favorite part, of course. You know what that is. If you don't, write it in the comments below what you think it is. But it's chrome, baby! <laughs> so there we go. We got our chrome bits. And yes, I did paint the black in here. You can see how nice that looks, though, right? AMX license plate sitting there. And then that's, to me, an orange paint. Or, um, what do they call that? Turn signal orange, right? Turn signal yellow. You got your headlights. This is all molded as one piece. There's your rear view mirror, your carburetor these awesome Krager mag wheels but as you can see there's quite a bit of flash and they put the flash right beside your gear stick levers and everything so be careful getting that out there of course is our there's our rear bumper so the nice part is you got your chrome in there and then those two little holes and that red will just pop right in red tail light lens there's our chrome valve covers which are correct for AMC another carburetor so this of course has the duals right and then our alternator and those big stacks and a bunch of the little detail bits made up the stock or pardon me the shirley shahan's racing motor so again nice chrome work oh on the back actually no real mold marks to report so again very nice crisp clean detail and a nice chrome job Next up we have our glass components and basically you're getting the entire glass here so you got your rear window and your side windows as well as the front window and much like kits of this era we have our runners going across which of course you could saw out and then try to glue this together in separately. The cool factor is these little side windows which would go in here and there and you could actually have your entire cockpit sealed off so that no dust gets in, which is always nice. And then you've got your rear tail light, which of course is a long strip, and it's got the little two pins on the ends, there and there, which will go into holes on the rear bumper, I do believe. Now remember with the interior, there was those two funny holes? Well, these are divots back here. And if I just move the interior into frame, you can see that these divots line up perfectly with the holes in the back. So again, nice work by AMC, even though this is a simplistic kit. And here we have our tires and wheels. And as you can see, we've got these multi-piece drag slicks and of course, regular stock style front wheels. And what made the Johan kits cool especially these dragsters, is you had your choice of either Goodyear or Firestone 500s. The Goodyears were printed on one side, and if you turn it over, it was Firestone on the other. And, of course, these are drag 500s. And what makes these cool is the raised letters, so you could actually paint those with your brush. Or, like I said, if you wanted your regular Goodyear, there it was there. But, of course, every model kit has Goodyear tires in it, from AMT, anyway, it seems. Okay, I know they've got Firestones as well, but the dra Firestone Drag 500s are pretty unique. Now, again, with the slicks, they did the same thing. So there's your Firestone Drag 500s. They put it on the more solid part of the wheel, and then the Goodyear one was the little narrow band, and these pop in nicely in there. So... Yeah, you can have it displayed either way. Then you got those great big wheel backs, which are for these. So you could put them in that way for your Firestones, or this way for your Goodyears. The giant hole for the plastic axle to fit through. And then, of course, these ones would go for your front wheels. Finally, we get into our very basic decals. These would go up the side of the body and connect again. This was going into that intake and this one goes across the rear there's no license plates unfortunately but of course you can always paint those nice amx ones molded in the bumper so i thought i would do this a little bit differently this time around i'm going to show you my modified version of this car this of course i've turned into the stock version i did have a little trouble with that hood but uh, i'll show you that in a different angle so this is basically what you can do with this AMX kit. If you happen to have some of the other Johan components, like those Oldsmobile Magnum 500 wheels, 
and a bit of other interesting parts lying around in your parts bin. Because you can see this is a very nice version of a stock AMX. Now let's take a look at what the kit offers. And this is the stock for Johan, Shirley Shahan Drag On Lady. This is what the kit originally was in the box before it became the Pro Street for 1992. There's that gigantic hood scoop on there, and the bumper has been painted red, which is authentic to the real car. This is my first uh, attempt at masking the red, white, and blue. I know it's a little bit not the greatest. There's those Drag 500 Firestones, as you can see, comes out nice with the white letters on those Krager mags. You can see all the sponsorship logos and everything. This is, of course, what Johan had in this kit from 1971 until 1992. The painted bumper in the back, and of course a little license plate with AMX. I did add in a little feature in here. I don't know if it can get picked up or not. Uh, I put a ba the battery into the trunk and put the Mallory decal on it. So there it is as it appeared originally as the Shirley Shahan Drag On Lady. And that completes our look at the 1969 American Motors AMX Pro Street by Johan. Well, I hope you enjoyed that great review of the 1969 American Motors AMX Pro Street Edition by Johan. And tune in next week for another great unboxing kit for 1969. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you are the first ones to see it. And until next time, model kit builders, keep your cars on the road.